All right, people, welcome back. Card review only on Mondays, but we're still gonna go ahead and look at some cards. So today we're gonna look at an artifact card. What? I know, it's been a cool minute since artifacts were relevant. About a year, <laughs> it's been about a year since artifacts, of course, with hat. And that deck is long gone, you know, when they hit Morale Talk 9 to 1. But yes, artifacts got a new card and it's been a cool minute. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this card and compare it in contrast with some of the other artifacts and determine whether it's good and whether it should be ran. What's up with that? So this is Artifact Vadra or Vedra? Va Vajra? I, I don't know. I don't know. Vajra? The Japanese is Vajra. But Vajra. Alright. So it's a light fairy effect, level 5. Surprise, surprise. 1800 attack, 1900 defense. Surprise, stats aren't amazing, but they're not terrible either, so meh. So, what is this individual artifact effect? So, you can set this card from your hand to spell and trap card zone as a spell card. Shocked. Okay. During your opponent's turn, when the set card in the spell and child zone is destroyed, and turns to your graveyard, you can special summon it. Shocked. Now it's only an individual effect. If this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn, destroy all cards in your spell and trap card zone. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. So, you destroy him, and he destroys everybody else, and then they all go off. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. Uh, when a monster your opponent controls declares a, a direct attack, you can special on this card from your hand. And then his effect will go off, and then you destroy your... Ah, I see it! I see Oh, this is good. This is good. This is exactly what the artifacts, pure artifacts, needed. You know? This would be like, oh, uh, set all my artifact shit. Oh, you do attack me directly? Special summon? Effect? Destroy my back row? Summon, 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 summon. You, you, your opponent doesn't even get the direct attack in, because the field was changed to that three to clear. Like, no, no, no. Summon him. Block. Destroy your back row, summon all your artifacts. This is, ooh, this is great. This card's great. And it's great for pure artifacts. So, uh, I'm probably going to get crucified for this one, but I wanted to talk about this card. Alright, so, back in Hat, you know, it was debated between Morale Talk or Sanctum. Morale Talk or Sanctum. And, uh, obviously, Morale Talk is when they got hit. Both in the OCG and here in the CCG, Morale Talk is at one. There's one Morale Talk. Now, what I want to suggest, especially with this card... I think they should be switched. Personally, I think that they should be switched. I think that Moral Talk should go to three and Sanctum should go to one. Because it doesn't matter what the order is, no one's going to do that, that engine anymore, you know? As long as one of the two cards is hit, no one's going to do that engine anymore. So, if Moral Talk is at three and Sanctum is at one, no one's going to do the whole artifact engine because you only have one Sanctum for your three Moral Talk? No. But for artifacts as a pure hold deck, that's actually not bad. Especially with this guy, you might actually have some bikes. That's the problem with uh, the artifact deck is that it just kind of died out because it only has one morale talk and, you know, it sucks that it had got that casualty hit that, you know what, we need to deal with this engine. Let's go ahead and hit this card and then all the artifacts are like, well, now we don't got any damn bite. You know, what, one morale talk, that's it, you know? What I was suggesting, and of course, this, this is just my opinion, I think that the, the cards should be switched. Sanctum went down to one, Morale Talk goes up to three, then Artifacts, of course, have more bite. Because now they have the multiple Morale Talks to go ahead and do the Artifact plays. Just go ahead and destroy. That's fine. You know? Uh, plus, with this guy, I'm worried about this guy because I feel like Triple Sanctum is a little bit more. Because, of course, it's just when this card is special summoned. So, not only can this guy be summoned when he's destroying your spell and trap card zone, get your effect destroyed, your back row, summon multiple artifacts. But then also, you can also do it by dropping it out of your hand when your opponent cards just attack, better summon, destroy your back row. But then also, of course, you can use Sanctum. So, Sanctum, it, it, like, literally, you could just set a whole bunch of artifacts and and then have one Sanctum. Then, during your opponent's end phase, activate Sanctum, Sanctum, special summon this guy, this guy, effect, destroy all your back row, summon, 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 summon. Like, that, that, that seems a little bit more powerful, you know, XC and please, XC and please, you know. It definitely seems like, with Triple Sanctum, this guy seems a little bit more broken. But if we switched it around and you had Triple Morale Attack, you still only have one Sanctum, you know. So you can go ahead and, you know, set your three Morale Attacks and your one Sanctum, your one Sanctum will summon this guy, and, you know, that would destroy and summon the Morale Attack. But it would give artifacts more bite without having to lead to them just going to please, 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 because... Let's be truthful, it's not really Durandal that you're going into, huh? It's Fleety, isn't it? So, uh, I don't know, maybe I was, just, I was just thinking about it when I saw this card, I was just like... It's been a while since we discussed Moral Talk and Sanctum, and, you know, I say either or. I don't, I'm not saying, you know, Moral Talk should go... Because I know there's a ton of people that are like, you know, Moral Talk's due up to two, or Moral Talk's due up to three, like... No, no, the, the, the engine is clearly busted, and, you know, it's still busted to this day. I mean, uh, Destruction is back to being popular, and, you know... 
Think about think about it as an engine was here today. Think about it. Just like mm, non targeting chaining spot removal. Like, oh, that'd be beautiful. Fucking Cleese would get fucked up. You know, Necros would get fucked up. Like, whew, that mm, there, there, there's a lot of things that would just get fucked up because of this non targeting destruction. So, uh, like I said, I'm I say yes, we should still have this engine hit. It's not like the engine's bad, you know. So bring up twenty one beater from your deck, non targeting destruction off of just a trap card. No, no, it's it's, it's powerful. But uh I'm not saying it should let go, just switch it, you know? Uh like I said, no one is gonna play one sanctum and three moral type, just like no one's playing three sanctum with one moral type. So if we switch it, we would give the artifact peer deck more bite through more moral type, but then less bite through you being able to special summon this guy from your deck. You know, and I kind of think that you just went with Moral Talk because OCG was with Moral Talk, you know, I said President. I believe it was the world's list because I believe Hack got hit like right before uh, in, you know, July 2014. I believe Moral Talk got hit on that list in 2014 and uh, it was the world's list. And, you know, instead of just being like, you know, well, so you guys Moral Talk at one and we have synced them at one and no artifacts at all, you know, they're like, hey, you can go ahead and try with one Moral Talk. So that's probably the reason why they don't want to go ahead and, you know, conflict hits. But uh, I personally thought that Sanctum was, al I always thought that Sanctum was the correct choice. You know, I always thought it was because I was like, if we hit more talk, the deck is dead. You know, there's no, you don't have, there's your bite, you know, there's your bite, you know. So I, I just want to suggest it, especially with this card, you know, like pure artifacts, you want to run your Marauder Tax, you know, no, no problem, but there's got to be able to not only summon itself from the Spell Trap card zone, but then also start to summon it from the hand and summon it from the deck with Sanctum, like, don't be surprised if you go ahead and see a lot of people just dropping Pleades after Pleades after Pleades on your ass, because that's just exactly how it's going to go down. So, pure artifacts, you definitely, definitely got to boost with this card, but, uh, I'm not sure if you're going to do anything, but... There we go. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think about this card and about, you know, switching. Like I said, I'm not going to protest or anything. I really don't care. I mean, I don't give two shits about artifacts. I'm just saying. I'm just making a suggestion here. So, tell me what you guys think about Sanctum and Moral Attack switching. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So, of course, card review is now once per week. So, I will see you guys back next Monday with another card to look at. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you guys are wondering about League, it should start this Saturday. Yes, August 1st. So, get hyped. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.